Hello lovely people, in this tutorial we're going to look at how to use spring to enhance children portraiture. We're going to be doing that classic bluebell shot. If you're a photographer and you want to add children's portraits to your portfolio or you just want to take decent pictures of your kids this spring, this tutorial is for you. Plus, I'm going to give you um, a free guide with all of the settings and techniques that I use in this video, and I'm going to tell you how you can get that at the end of this video. Let's go. Hello, I'm Mark Newton from the School of Photography, where we teach you photography properly in a structured way by professional teachers. So we're going to look at how to get that classic bluebell shot and use the lovely spring to enhance pictures of kids and children portraits. So it's going to be really, really good. Now, the first thing that you need to consider is your color palette. Now, a good color palette in your shoot is really, really important, especially if you're using a distinctive color like the bluebells that we're using today. So what I did was I sent um, a color palette to my client here. Now, luckily for me, she is a designer, so she's used to seeing um, color palettes, but most parents are not, and it's really helpful for them for you to send them a color palette so that they can dress their kids in colors that are gonna be harmonious with your surrounding. Now, lucky for you, I'm gonna give you the color palette that I used, and it's gonna be in the description of this video. Now all I need is a willing child so I could take photographs of them and show you all the settings and techniques to use. Now where am I going to find a willing child? Where'd you come from? I've only found a willing child. Right, ready? Let's go. You've gone the wrong way, come on. So I found a nice spot and what you want obviously is loads of bluebells everywhere but particularly bluebells coming towards your lens and what I'm going to go for is a shot where the bluebells are out of focus towards the lens as well as behind the lens. Now here's, some tech, here's the technical specs. I'm using the Olympus camera here and it's a micro four thirds camera. I'm gonna shoot at a focal length of 40 mil, which is 80 mil equivalent in a full frame camera. And I might go between 25 and 40, which is equivalent of 50 to 80. And that's a really good focal length for portraiture. So that's the first thing, keep your focal length around there. My aperture is at f 2.8 which is the widest that this lens goes and that's going to give me a real nice shallow depth of field like I said in the foreground and in the background will then uh, be blurry. My shutter speed I'm going to keep at 125th of a second now this does have an image stabilizer which is um, which is really really good but I'm on a shoot and I'm not taking any risks of getting camera shake. So I'm going to keep it at 125th of a second um, together with the image stabilizer and zoomed in, I should be all right. Because just remember that when you are zoomed in, it, you can get camera shake a lot easier. So that's the, oh, and my ISO is as low as it can be when I'm in position. So I've just done a little test there and it's hovering around 400, uh, ISO and it will change slightly depending on if I get closer or further away so I will be changing the ISO just slightly depending on where I go and that's the technical stuff so now I'm going to take some shots and show you what I'm going to do here we go where's my model gone model come on that's it nice big laughs good and now look over into the distance over there that's it. And the good thing about this Olympus camera is I can actually flip the screen and I can go really, really low and still get the focus point that I want. That is lovely. So now I'm shooting right through the bluebells and I'm actually going to get a little bit closer because I want to feel the frame a little bit more. And that's really, really nice. Well done. 
Now, if I'm gonna do any color grading to these, which I will do, it won't be like major retouching, it'll just be some color toning, I will put that in the description of this video so you can see exactly what I've done in Lightroom to enhance these shots so that you know. Um, so that'll be in the description. But so we're just gonna have a little move around, see if we can get uh, another area and take a few more shots, let's go. So before we go and do the other idea that I've got, I just wanna tell you about the courses that we do over at theschoolofphotography.com. We teach photography properly in a structured way. So if this is the sort of thing that you wanna do, you wanna take photographs like this, we can teach you over there. We've got courses in photography, Lightroom, Photoshop, studio lighting, and all things photography related. And there's some freebies over there so you can try before you buy. Okay, let's go and have a go at this other idea. So I wanna do some standing shots. And what I'm doing is I'm shooting through two trees to my model there with all the bluebells in the background. Um, and that's a really good compositional technique. So you can shoot through, you're in a forest, you know? So you can shoot through trees. And, and what that does is it focuses the eye towards the center, towards your model. So I'm gonna take a few more like this and I might even come lower as well. And well, let's just see what happens. You ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. And nice big smiles. I'm using the screen so I can get lower and shoot through the bluebells. And make sure you get your focus point bang on when you're doing this. Um, I've got my focus point sent, set to center frame so I can focus on exactly what I want and then move the camera and take the shot. Very good. Thank you to my lovely child model for the day. She's been an absolute star, haven't you? And I think mummy and daddy's probably gonna buy you an ice cream or something like that. An extra big one, I think, I'll have to tell them. So thanks for that. Now, thanks for watching. I'm being absolutely bit, so we're gonna go home. Don't forget, in the description of this video, I've put a free downloadable guide to what I've done here, focal lengths, apertures, shutter speeds, composition, so that you can print it or save it on your phone and take it with you on your next shoot. So that's in the description, go and grab that. If you've liked this video, please like it. Please share it with your friends and please subscribe to our channel. That really, really helps us out and it enables us to bring you these tutorials. So please do that, we really appreciate it. Um, and come over to theschoolofphotography.com if you wanna learn photography properly in a structured way by professional teachers. And remember, learn more at the School of Photography.